Okay, you've still got three lifelines. How are you feeling? Nervous, still. You're doing well. You've used no lifelines at all. You've got eight right answers out of eight. Question number nine, money getting steep now. Question number nine is worth £16,000. Which member of the Rolling Stones called his autobiography Stone Alone? Bill Wyman, Charlie Watts, Keith Richard, Mick Jagger. I think I know this one, but um, just to make sure, I'll ask the audience. OK. Audience on your keypads, you don't have to take their answer, Andy. Have a look. It's worth £16,000. A, B, C or D, all vote now. Uh, 45% fairly split. 45% are saying Bill Wyman. 19 Charlie Watts. 17 Keith. Uh, 19 Mick. It's not the one I was thinking, so. Um, what were you thinking? Charlie Watts. Huh? 45 are saying Bill. I go 50 50. Uh huh. Computer, take away two wrong answers. Please leave Andy the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. It's all going too well, wasn't it, Andy? I'm going to go with the, uh, the audience. 45% of the audience. Yeah. You don't know them, Andy. <laughs> nah. It's up to you. Final answer. Bill Wyman. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Final answer. Final answer. How are you feeling, Mum? Ill. Very quiet behind you. <laughs> you just won £16,000. <laughs> oh, Andrew, you look at Andrew. Thank you. You've still got phone a friend. You've got £16,000. <laughs> oh. Take a look at question number 10 of 15. You're six away from one million. Which country was formerly known as British Honduras? El Salvador, Panama, Guatemala, Belize. It's D. How positive are you now? 51%. <laughs> Belize? El Salvador, Panama, Guatemala, Belize. One of those is worth £32,000. Three of them would cost you £15,000. I believe it's Belize. Why? Because it's still um, a British colony or protectorate. British Army still train out there. Good play? Yeah. Confident? Ish. Should be, you just won £32,000. <laughs> I'm so pleased, Andy. You're a top bloke. Oh! 32! 32,000 pounds. Have a look at that. You'll be ever so popular down the neck. Ever so popular. <laughs> but we don't want to give you that. You've got 32,000, but you've still got to phone a friend. Right, have a look at question number 11. It's worth 64,000. Here it comes. You're five away from a million. What was the surname of the American campaigner for women's rights after whom a pair of trousers was named? Bloomer. Jodper. Gene. True. I don't think it's Jodhpur, because I think that sounds like it's of sort of Indian origin, maybe. Um, I don't think it's Jeans. I think it's I think it's true. I do think it's true. 
I don't know whether to use the, the phone a friend now to confirm it, because I can't really think of anyone that I know is going to know, or whether to potentially save it. But I don't want to waste it. <laughs> um, it's true. It better be, anyway. <laughs> final answer. Yeah, final answer. You had £32,000. Oh, Andy, you've still got £32,000. Oh. <laughs> Great contestant. Over two nights now. You still go away with £32,000. I can tell you, Andy, the right answer, actually, and I had to say it, I wouldn't have had a clue. The right answer is actually Bloomer. And you'll never, ever wear them again, will you? <laughs> Give him a big hand. Andy Down goes away with £32,000. <laughs> to meet tonight's ten brand new contestants and they are Claire Williams from Gloucestershire Eileen McCrory from Argyle and Butte Bill Nichols from Bedfordshire Tanya Edgar from Devon Fiona Lament from Glasgow Tracy Ryder from London Paula McFarlane from Glasgow Terry Cairns from Kent Chris Taylor from Glasgow. Dave Bailey from Essex. OK, fastest finger first. Whoever puts the four answers in the correct order in the fastest time is next this Thursday night to play for a possible £1 million. No calling out, please, in the audience. They need to concentrate. Fastest finger first. Here comes the question. Starting with the earliest, put these TV costume dramas in the order they were first seen. Four costume dramas coming up, television classics. Starting from the farthest back in time, coming towards the present day. Here they are. Brideshead Revisited, Foresight Saga, Sharp, Upstairs, Downstairs. OK, I'm not sure of the order myself. Let's have a look. Uh, starting with the earliest then, farthest back in time was actually the Foresight Saga back in 1967. Upstairs, Downstairs was then 71, Brideshead was 81, and most recently, of course, Sharp, 1993. That's the right order. Now, let's find out how many got it right. Then, most important, who got it right in the fastest time? These got it right, only three. Phil Nichols, fastest in 6.22 seconds. Well done, Phil. And you're absolutely surrounded by women as well. Well done, my man. 6.22, good time. OK, you want to play for a million? Oh, I do indeed. OK, let's do it. Come on. Okay, question number one, hopefully very straightforward, I'm sure it is. Have a look for £100. Florence Nightingale was known as the lady with the... Hmm, be careful. Blanket bath. <laughs> lamp. Bucket. <laughs> bedpan. It's lamp. It is lamp, you've got 100 quid. What up, Phil? <laughs> OK, question number two for 200 quid. Just be aware up to the first... £1,000 milestone, Phil, if you did give me a wrong answer, you would go home with nothing at all. I'm sure you won't. You've got all those three lifelines. If you need them, have a look. Question number two is worth 200 quid. Which of these is a problem a hairdresser might deal with? Split ends. Split screen. Split second. Split personality. Well, seeing as Joy is a hairdresser, I think I should get this one right. So, um, I'll say split ends. It's the right answer. You've got 200 quid. Well <laughs> Did you really sell her a car? And I sold a friend one as well on the same day. Things were all right from then on? It was a good car, was it? The car's still going. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough thing. OK, <laughs> have a look. You've got 200 quid. Have a look at question number three for £300. Which of these is a children's TV programme first broadcast in 1958? Brown Phillip. I think I know where we're going. Red Paul. Blue Peter. Pink Patrick. What a show that sounds. <laughs> Um, it's Blue Peter. Not Pink Patrick? No. 
final answer is good. You got 300 quid. Well done. <laughs> no problem at all so far. Have a look at question number four. It's worth 500 quid. Which of these is the name given to a Schubert symphony? Unfinished. Untouchable. Unready. Unloved. <laughs> it's unfinished. Final answer? Yeah. It's good. You got 500 quid. <laughs> Number eight in B minor. Is it? Just showing off, it just came up with my screen. <laughs> <laughs> and the clue. Right, you got 500 quid. Have a look at question number five. Give me a right answer for this. You go home with at least £1,000. Here it comes. In which London square is the monument known as Nelson's Column? Leicester Square, Russell Square, Trafalgar Square, Sloan Square. It's Trafalgar Square. It's right answer. You've got £1,000. Well done. <laughs> now you're a happy man. Phil, whatever happens, you've got a £1,000 guaranteed. You're 10 away from a million. No problem at all so far. You're going well. You've got three lifelines left, 50-50. Phone a friend and ask the audience. Have a look at question number six. It's worth £2,000. <coughs> With which city is Mother Teresa most associated? Bombay, Delhi, Madras, Calcutta. It's worth £2,000. I think I'm gonna have to put my faith in the audience. Okay, audience on your key pads, please. Let's get Phil up to at least two thousand pounds. He's got a thousand guaranteed anyway. It's worth two thousand pounds. A, B, C, or D. All vote now. Uh, One percent are saying Bombay. Um, 4% Delhi, 3% Madras. Quite a high proportion are going for Calcutta, Phil. Makes me feel like I should have known it, really, doesn't no. it? Makes me feel a bit... Uh... Doesn't mean they're right. No, but I'm going to go with it. I'm going to definitely go with that one. I'm going to go for... Calcutta? Calcutta. Final answer. Final answer. It's good. you got £2,000. <laughs> I think that 1% might have been your wife trying to <laughs> stitch you up like a kitten. <laughs> Just a theory. You got £2,000. <laughs> Serves you right for selling of the dodgy old car. You got £2,000. Have a look at question number seven. You still got two lifelines, Phil. It's worth £4,000. Here it comes. The phrase up and under is associated with which sport? Rugby, hockey, cricket, tennis. Up and under. It's, um, it's rugby. Final answer. Final answer. You got four thousand pounds, Phil. <laughs> you got four thousand pounds. You still got two lifelines. Have a look at question number eight. You're eight away from one million pounds. You got four thousand pounds at the moment. Here it comes. Which vegetable has a French name meaning "eat all"? Aubergine. Mange tout. Broccoli. Courgette. Um, it's Monge too. Why? <laughs> I can't give you a really honest answer why, but I just know it is. Final answer? Yeah. It's good. You've got £8,000. <laughs> Still got two lifelines, you're two away from the next big milestone of £32,000. Question number nine is worth £16,000. You've got eight at this moment. You would lose seven if you gave me a wrong answer. Give me a right answer, your W money to 16000 Serious money. Here it comes, question number nine. You're seven away from one million. Who starred in the films Women in Love and The Devils? Richard Burton, Peter O'Toole, Richard Harris, Oliver Reed. It's Oliver Reed. Are you just sure? Um, I distinctly remember The Devils when it came out. There was a bit of a controversy about it, and uh, I think it was... It was Oliver Reed. Definitely. Women in Love was when he also wrestled naked with someone, so I don't know why. He did what? He wrestled naked with uh, another man. 
I don't know why that sticks in my mind. I shouldn't be it's telling you that. <laughs> I shouldn't be telling you that, should I? Nuts. <laughs> Put an enormous amount of happiness to this audience, haven't you? <laughs> the Twilight World of Phil from Luton. You got £8,000, you want to play? Oliver Reed. Five minutes. Five minutes. Just won £16,000. <laughs> I remember seeing that. It was actually um, Alan Bates. I remember seeing it thinking, why? <laughs> exactly. Putting it going, why? OK, you got £16,000. Phil, you are one right answer away from the next big milestone of £32,000. You got a 50-50, you got phone a friend. Have a look at question number 10 of 15. <laughs> 